So, Maeve and Johnny have got the mics on you, user now in the hot seat, but you've got uh, pretty much family all around you. Maeve, what is Keeper Lip for Lar Tractor Run all about? It's basically about my husband. He passed away this January, um, the 12th of January. Um, big farmer, loved his farm and loved his machinery. And we'd gone to watch a similar parade two years previously, uh, Fionn's Parade of Lights. And yes. we stood out for the hour, hour and a half and absolutely loved it. So we said, what better way when he loved his machinery and that as much than to hold something again that would support some good charities and in his name as well, so. I was uh, privileged to be driving one of the tractors on that particular night and uh, it was a spectacle, it was, it was a great night. Johnny, what can you tell me about this Ford that, that, that's here? Because apparently this is a very personal uh, tractor. Yeah, this Ford came to the air yard here between me father and my uncle Matt. And uh, it was in 1973, which would be the year Lawrence was born. Okay. And we bought the tractor. Uh, now I, I remember uh, as it came on, the biggest tractor in Rush. There was no, no tractor around like it. And um, Paddy, my father and my uncle split up. My uncle got that tractor. We had to get a new tractor, which we did. And um, uh, my uncle's son done the tractor up here about 10, 15 years ago and put it back to its original state as it is here today. And um, and it's going to be, in the it's parade. got the lights on it in preparation, yeah, it's, it's, it's ready to go. Ready to go and back to the crate again. Hopefully. And what's this one over your other shoulder? Well, this is one we only purchased myself and Lawrence. Before Lawrence passed away, he was always on the big buying a new tractor and he, he drove one of these maybe August, of last year, so see, I think we go for a, a different colour green because we have a class. We have John there, and he drove the dikes. He liked it, and even up to a couple of weeks before he died, he says to me, "See, don't forget to go and yes. buy the tractor, go for the dikes." So I said, "Right." So we go and get the dikes. He went for the dikes. So we've got the oldest and the newest. Me, are you for driving the dikes? Is that? Correct. Well, I did ask you to give me a lesson in it because I'm not really sure what I'm at, but I have a few weeks so I learn well, so I'm a quick learner, so. Tell us briefly about uh, the actual event. When, where, and how do people get involved? Yeah, and well, how do they support it? Yeah, it's, uh, we have the Facebook page, Keeper Lit For Lar, the I Donate link is in on that. Um, it's on the 2nd of January, a Sunday. Uh, registration is starting at Man of War at the football club at three o'clock. We're leaving five o'clock sharp. So, and we're heading in Lusk, Rush, Scarries, Balbriggan and Balrothery. That's the route. So registration is on the day people arrive up. Anything, once it's wheels and it's Lights. legit on the road and it's lit up, that's it, there'll be prizes for best vehicles. So it's that. not so just tractors? No, tractors, cars, lorries, bikes, whatever. As I said, once it's a motor and wheels on it and it can legally be on the road, we'd love to see people come into it, so. What charities are being supported? Because that's ultimately what this is about, um, supporting charity and bringing the community together. And what's been a difficult time for both the country and yourselves. Yeah, um, well, the charities were doing Friends of St. Luke's. Lawrence would have gotten three separate uh, bouts of radiation over the three and a half years, um, three different sets of 10 bouts of radiation. So we're doing it for Friends of St. Luke's because they were very good in relation to it. We're doing it for Aoife's Clown Doctors. Um, it was done for Fionn's Parade of Lights as well. They go in and entertain children in wards. Um, we're also doing it for Scurry's Youth support services which is a local service that provides support for kids in all basically North Fingal, any uh, teenagers and that that might have a few weeks just to give them a bit of extra support and help and uh, then the last charity is Laura Lynn which is the only children's hospice in Ireland so. Well look guys thank you very much for taking the time to explain. Um, I'll be here <laughs> with this uh, on the on the day or on the evening and uh, look forward to welcoming as many people uh, to the starting point at the man o war and uh, 
let's have a great night and if you can't be get a good there, evening so if you can't get there there's a, a donate yeah. page get on throw a few quid in and uh, thank you very much thank, thank you. you thanks very much